And welcome to Benedetti Worley Stadium on the campus of North Central College in Naperville for the 3A state championship game. Two teams that have been here plenty. Barrington going for a three-peat. Naperville North trying to win a first title since 2013. I'm Nathan Bleva. We thank you for joining us here this evening for the last game of the girls' soccer season in IHSA. Let's take a look at our keys for today for Barrington. Keep it simple. Defend their titles. Back-to-back champions for the Phillies. And a chance to make it a three-peat here this evening. They stay focused. On the other end for Naperville North, nobody expected them to be here. Not at state, not in the state championship game, and not lifting that first-place trophy. Everybody was looking at Barrington, at St. Charles North, and at Nutria. So play loose, have fun, and go for it. That's the key for Naperville North with a lot of their fans a mile and a half away from campus right here for the game this evening. Let's turn it over to Hector on PA. Meet the starting lineups of student athletes, our referees, and our coaches for tonight's 3A state championship game. For the home team, the Huskies of Naperville North, who enters the match with a record of 14 wins, 5 losses, and 4 ties, please meet coach Steve Bullets, who has a career record of 152 wins, 21 losses, and 19 ties for a career of 8 years. And now the starting lineup, first for the visiting Phillies of Barrington. In goal, junior number one, Leah Eisenbarth. Senior defender number two, Christine Bettliner. Junior forward number five, Ashley Armando. Senior midfielder number six, Ashley Rocco. Junior defender number nine, Julianne Moreno. Junior forward number ten, Ali McCauley. Junior midfielder number 13, Rebecca Shoemaker. Sophomore forward number 16, Jan Devona. Sophomore defender number 18, Kate McGrady. Senior defender number 19, Maddie Rosen. Junior midfielder number 21, Tina Tyke. And now the starting lineup for the home team, the Huskies of Naperville North. Senior goalkeeper number one, Amanda Johnson. Junior defender number seven, Paige Sylvester. Senior defender number 12, Taylor Kleiber. Junior forward number 17, Hannah Martin. Junior defender number 18, Leah Shoemaker. Senior defender number 20, Riley Riggs. Senior midfielder number 21, Maddie Shirak. Senior forward number 22, Caitlin Castillo. Junior defender number 26, Emily Maggie. Sophomore forward number 28, Emily Dulick. And senior forward number 30, Katie Murphy. There will not be an national anthem as it was already played. Good luck to both teams and let's play good soccer. I had a civilian retirement, a military retirement, and a 401k. It's just a lot of moving parts. They had their auto and their home insurance with me for about 10 years. Having somebody that can put that picture together for you took a huge weight off their shoulders. Kim and Bill are so excited about this next stage in their lives. Let's start with your home and auto insurance and we'll help with the rest when you're ready. Get a quote at takesimplesteps.com.
We are ready for kickoff here this evening as Barrington takes on Naperville North. Our officiating crew for this 3A state title game. Mike Moore from Park Ridge is our referee. Kevin Parker from Lombard is the AR1. Doug Newfelt from Hanover Park is AR2. Fourth official over on the sideline is Boris Vukovic from the Grange Park. Naperville North, a mile and a half from campus. They were the orange and navy jerseys with the navy socks. And the all whites for Barrington. Here now for the kickoff, and it goes right out of bounds for Barrington. Naperville North with Amanda Johnson in goal. She's a senior and had two massive saves in the shootout yesterday as they beat Lions to get to this matchup. The back four in the orange and blue for Naperville North. Paige Sylvester, number seven, a junior. Riley Riggs. Headed to Northwestern, scored in the third place game last year here. The state final, she wears number 20, Emily McGee is number 26, and Caitlin Castillo is number 22. Maddie Schlecht in the midfield headed to Wisconsin, number 21. Leah Shoemates, number 18, a junior who's verbal to IUPUI, and the ball slides right through the box. And I'll head the other way. Taylor Kleiber, number 12, is a senior. Up top for the Huskies, Katie Murphy had a goal in the super sectional. She's number 30. Hannah Martin scored yesterday in the second half. Also went to state in golf this year. A junior who's verbal to Purdue with 17 goals. And Emily Dulick scored the game winner in the super sectional. She's number 28 up top. Steve Goletz is their head coach. Eighth year, 152 wins, 22 losses. 19 ties, won a state championship in 2012 and 2013. A third place finish last year. Under Steve Goletz, they've won 13 games before this tournament. So now 14, 5, and 4. Ball sent in and headed straight out for a goal kick here. Out of the DuPage Valley Conference 2,674, the enrollment, Jim Conrad, the boys coach, an assistant, Nick Max, Maxa, Ryan Kuhn, and Jesus Aguilar. The other assistant coaches, a win for Naperville North today would be their third state title all this decade. Would also make them the state champion with the least amount of victories in a season. And I just say history as they are 14, five and four. St. Vider won 19 and 02. So did Wheaton Academy in 04. Rochester won 19 and 08. Alton Marquette won 19 in 2011. Granite City won 18 that same year. And those are the only, uh, one more, St. Francis won 18 last year in 2A. Those are the only state champions with wins in the teens. Granite City had six losses when they won the title in 3A in 2011. Naperville North, start of the year against Barrington. Two nothing on March 12th. Lost to this Barrington team, and it's a corner kick for the Phillies now. Then lost to St. Charles East and Stevenson. The fourth loss was to Nutria, and the fifth loss was to Medea Valley. They avenged that loss in the sectional semifinals. In fact, they beat four straight Aurora teams in the postseason. East and West Aurora in the regional, and the two valleys. And the sectional is this corner kick is headed out of the box, and Barrington will reset there. Then they beat Manuka 2-1 in the Lewis University Super Sectional in Romeoville. Ball back towards the edge. And 
Leah Eisenbarth is the keeper for Barrington. They are 22-1 and 1. The loss came to Fremd on April 24th, and they tied Nuqua Valley 1-1 on March 14th. Christine Batliner, number two. Juliana Moreno had a yellow card yesterday, number nine. Kate McGreevy, number 18. And Maddie Rosen, number 19. Are the back four for the Phillies. McGreevy did a great job on Weaver last night against Nutcher. And Maddie Rosen was the player of the match for Chicago Land Soccer. Ashley Rocco is a midfielder. She scored yesterday. Ended up being the first goal. Rebecca Showmaker's in the middle, number 14, and Tina Tyke, number 21's in the middle. Ashley Armando up top, number 5. Elliot McCauley is number 10. She scored in the super sectional, and Jen Devona is number 16, up top, a sophomore with eight goals. Ryan Stengren, who played collegiately at Akron, is the head coach, 12 years, 245 wins, 44 losses, 20 ties, a third-place finish. Back-to-back state titles, they went 28-1 in 2017. They were 21-3-2 last year, and they're trying to get to 23 wins today, which will be their third most. Barrington won 24 games in 2010 and in 2006. Scott Stein was the head coach for Barrington before he went to the boys' side. Three third-place finishes, one runner-up, which came in 06, and back-to-back state champs now. Between the tie with Nuqua Valley, the loss to Frem, they rattled off 11 straight wins, and since they lost to Frem on April 24th, they've won 11 in a row again. Beat Loyola Academy and St. Charles East to end April. They beat Conant, Buffalo Grove, and Hersey in May. Start of the DeKalb Regional with a 13-0 win over Rockford East and a 5-0 win over Elgin. In the Rockford-Guilford sectional, they beat South Elgin and Cary Grove each 2-0. They won the Super Sectional over former number one ranked St. Charles North by the score of 2 to nothing In the box it comes, and it's hit right to Johnson. Back to the sidelines now for Barrington, just 30 miles away. Are the Phillies? Back on the right side now. Back across midfield. Throw in on that far sideline for the Huskies of Naperville North. They've got it again. For another throw in, this time going the other way. Throw in on the far sideline again. And right out of bounds. Corner kick again for Billington, Barrington. They had a couple of those, the opening moments, and now another one. Corner kick in the for the Phillies. Taking the kick will be number 19, Manny Rosen. Rosen's ready to go. Ball sent in to the back post. Not a clean hit on the header there, and... 
Barrington will set up again. Batliner sends it in, bouncing right to Johnson. Naperville Nora charging down the left sidelines. Send it in and back now on the right side and that'll go against Naperville North. A little bit over 10 minutes in here. A scoreless contest thus far. North will usher that one out of bounds and tripped up there, but it was already out of bounds for the throw in. They did call it as a foul and a free kick here instead of a throw in. Sent back by Barrington. This ball towards the edge of the 18. Johnson's just waiting for it to roll in where she picks it up. Ball sent back across midfield. Throw in for Naperville North. Right into the double team, headed away, and Batliner comes up to win it for Barrington. She's all over the place in the early moments. And then her pass intercepted, going back now for a throw in. Free kick here for the Phillies. Sent into the box, bouncing through, and on a second hop, Johnson picks it up. Right across midfield, not a bounce. Barrington gets it back across midfield. They're trying to attack that right side. You can tell here in the early going. A whistle. We'll send it back for Naperville North. They're going to set it up right about the 45 on the football field here. For this free kick. Shoemate launching it in and into the box, headed out. Barrington will clear. Right.
right back through the box and out. And there'll be a corner kick for Naperville North. Huskies with the corner kick. Got one off of a corner kick scramble in yesterday's contest. Sent it in. Cleared out. Headed back to the edge of the box. Sun peeking out now. It rained during the trophy presentations for the third place game. Some umbrellas popped up here in the stands and then almost just as quickly the rain stopped and now back over downtown Naperville, the sun peeking through the clouds really for about the first time since the two-way state title game. I don't think the sun was out at all during that third place game. It was very overcast. Temperatures dropped almost 20 degrees since the end of the two-way third place game. We were sitting in the 80s then. There's even some jackets in the stands right now and not just rain jackets either. Some hoodies. Didn't have that for those first two games today when the sun was out and it was nice and warm. Here's a Clearance by Naperville North is the Phillies were looking for a foul called on the edge of the box. Didn't get it. It is getting pretty physical out there right now. Going for these 50-50 balls. Some pushing and shoving, but all fair game. Here thus far, you're watching live coverage of the 2019 IHSA Girls Soccer Championships on the NFHS Network. NFHSnetwork.com slash IHSA is your home for the most comprehensive coverage of the Illinois High School Championship action from live games to full game replays to highlights. It's all there at NFHSnetwork.com slash IHSA. Punted by Johnson across midfield. And now Barrington trying to get going again. Left side, charging through. They drop it back. And out of bounds for a throw in. Two subs in for Naperville North. Thompson and Sylvester back in. Back across midfield and right out of bounds. Clear to the sidelines. That ball headed for the stands. And a throw in now for Barrington down the attacking third. Into the box. And out for a corner kick this time for Barrington. So a corner kick here. Again. Batliner will take the corner. Sending it into the near post. It hit the post. Now all the way back out. They'll try to reload. Showmaker. Out wide. Tyke. And it knocked away out of bounds. The throw in.
Long throw in. Maddie Rosen will take it, looking for somebody to make a move. Now gets it in. Back to Rosen. Left foot across. Back post, but over everybody. Kaleko ran it down, but Naperville North came away with it. They send it down the field. Halfway through the first half, you can purchase a DVD keepsake copy of today's event. Click on the blue. Get the DVD button directly under your event video player. Or click on the buy a DVD button on the top right-hand corner of the NFHS Network website. It's a free kick here for Barrington. That means Maddie Rosen, the left foot, hits service into the box, deep into the box, but wide of the goal. And a goal kick coming here. Cross midfield. North charging forward, one on two and cleared back, but North comes up with it again, and good defense. You look at Barrington. They've not allowed a goal since May 3rd when they beat Buffalo Grove 3-2. to two. They've only allowed 11 all season, and that's sent out. I should say they came into this tournament and had not allowed a goal. They did give up one last night to Emma Weaver before winning 2-1. to one. They gave up 11 all year. Only gave up more than one in two games. They beat Schaumburg 6-2. to two, And they beat Buffalo Grove 3-2. to two. Only times they gave up more than one goal all year. North. Gets it across midfield. Barrington sends it right back the other way. Ball rolling towards the box and picked up there. Midfield for Naperville North. Driving through and collision at the edge of the 18. Shot is saved. And it's a foul against Barrington anyway coming out. Sent back towards midfield and across it. Back to the middle. Barrington has it again. Now Naperville North will win the race to the ball. Left side. Barrington's had the better scoring chances. But nobody has broken through yet. It's 
five, Ashley Armando. Ashley Armando back in. Sent into the box. Ready to go. The top of the 18. Couldn't get the shot off. Second effort also cleared away. On the edge. On the cross. Flicked in and not taken away quite yet. And now it goes out for a goal kick. Goal kick coming up here. And that's towards uh, called for a foul. That goes against Neverville North. So a free kick here. For Barrington. Right at midfield for Matty Rosen. Into the box, headed, chip back in. They're still battling for it here. Shot deflected, second effort. Goes off of Naperville North and out of the box. Kaleko in. Late first half, no score yet. Headed back out of the box. Barrington trying to break through. Free kick for Naperville North here. Launch down the field for the Huskies. Back towards midfield. And Phillies have it again. Right side, knocked away. Cross back and headed towards midfield here. Collision, no call. And it bounces back towards midfield again. A foul called against Barrington. And a free kick for Naperville North.
on their own side of midfield, but chance to get it towards the edge of the 18, headed away before it got there. Out of bounds, last touch by the Huskies, so another corner kick. By the time this ball's put in play, we'll have 10 minutes left to go in the first half of play here in a scoreless matchup. Kleiber back in, Leonard in, and Katie Murphy also in for... The Huskies on this corner kick opportunity for Barrington. They send it into the middle of the goal, punched away by Johnson, headed down. No shot off yet, and I think that was a handball. It was a handball against Barrington's number seven, Kaleko. Was jumping in to try to get to that ball. Free kick, no score. Headed back across midfield. North had limited opportunities so far. They started to move forward more over the last five to ten minutes. Working that way now to the edge of the box. Knocked away, and that will be a... Corner kick for Naperville North. Their turn to send one in. Shoemate will take the corner here. Ball sent into the box. Punched out. And... Clear back to midfield. Back into the box. Midfield and knocked down to the sidelines, running onto it. Nope, can't get there in time, and that's out of bounds for a throw-in. Showmaker back in for the Phillies. She replaces Kaleko. Substitution again for Barrington. Ashley Pro is in. She had a big goal for Barrington last year. Her first appearance. Prowl is going to go to Illinois. She had the game winner. This ball's knocked away. Had the game winner in the shootout last year. Pro. 
announced in December that she was going to Illinois. Pro had 22 goals, 11 assists last year. Was expected to miss all of this season. She tore ACL in, sprint, in club soccer. In the fall. And back to the sidelines. Look at Pro this year. She has two assists, no goals. Did not play yesterday. You heard the ovation for her when she came in. She had the kick that won it last year, and they expected her to not play at all this season. She's in the wall right now, number 12 for Barrington with this free kick. Leah Shoemate, the right side of the box, chips it into the far post, headed out by the Philly. Ball back towards the middle of the field, and send it towards Prell. Off of the Huskies defender and out of bounds. So throw in here. North. Four minutes to go in the first half, has it. Deal. Sent the through ball. Showmaker sends it across. Didn't get much on it and easily cleared away. And out of bounds. Naperville North now with three minutes to go. Prell made her 2019 debut on May 14th. That was in the regional opener against Rockford East. Had an assist when they made it 10-0. They went on to win that game 13-0. Barrington down the left side. Looking to cross it. That's going to be a corner. Barrington began the season ranked number one. Nationally ranked as well. They started the year at home against this Naperville North team and beat them. Matt Liner will send in the corner with 2-12 left in the half. And the header towards the back post. I don't think Prell hit it cleanly. Send it across. Midfield. Ninety seconds left in the first half. No score yet. I've had some good goal scoring opportunities on both sides. Barrington moving forward again. Couldn't get that ball through. North heading back the opposite way. Now Barrington. Batlinger sends it in. Showmaker ran into the keeper Johnson and took the worst of that. Amanda Johnson held her ground there and 
They'll punt it away with 40 seconds left in this first half. Cross midfield. And halftime. It's scoreless between Barrington and Naperville North. Second half will get underway in 10 minutes. No score in the first half on the NFHS Network. I had a civilian retirement, a military retirement, and a 401k. It's just a lot of moving parts. They had their auto and their home insurance with me for about 10 years. Having somebody that can put that picture together for you took a huge weight off their shoulders. Kim and Bill are so excited about this next stage in their lives. Let's start with your home and auto insurance and we'll help with the rest when you're ready. Get a quote at takesimplesteps.com. you understand your insurance, the more successful you can be. I love explaining how proper coverage can help my customers achieve their goals. Watching them apply what they've learned from my class to their lives, it's inspiring. I believe anyone can achieve their goals if they just take simple steps. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com.
Coaches teach your kids to dream. Coaches teach your kids to overcome. Coaches teach your kids good sportsmanship. Coaches teach your kids proper technique. But who teaches your coaches? There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I would encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. The NFHS Learning Center is the leader in online education for the interscholastic community. At NFHSLearn.com, you can find over 60... Welcome back to North Central College. Nathan Oliva with you, and we start the second half. No score. There were still about 40 seconds on the clock. Both teams took the field, and they were like, hey, let's go. So we are off and rolling for this second half of action. The Huskies of Naperville North and the orange and blue now going right to left. The all-whites with the red numbers for the two-time defending state champions from Barrington. You look at what they have accomplished. The seniors on this team went 21-2-1 and as freshmen, 28-1 and and won a state title in penalty kicks as sophomores, 21-3-2 and and won a state title on penalty kicks as juniors. A win tonight would put them at 93 wins, seven losses, and four ties with three state titles if they win tonight. That's what they're looking for. You look at three peats. Nutrier just did it. 2014, 15, and 16. St. Charles won five in a row from 96 to 2000, back when it was just a one class system. Went to two classes in 2002 and went to three in 2009. So free kick here for the Phillies. Sent in, far post, and caught actually right in the middle of the goal by Johnson. Back into the middle of the field. Into the box and picked up. And 
cutting across midfield. Naperville North with the header. Now Barrington's got it again on the far sideline. Lights in effect here at North Central College. Back across midfield again. Huskies on the throw in, far sideline from the press box, headed away. Back and forth here into the box and cleared away by Matt Leonard. Cross midfield and Barrington sends it down, but that was a roll all the way to Johnson. She loudly calls for it. Cross midfield for the Huskies and to the sideline, saved in bounds. Riggs gets a header. Now Sylvester clears it across midfield. Trying to get it to Hannah Martin. She's been quiet today. They've not had many scoring chances at all. They get it into the box here and Sent out of the sideline. It'll be a throw in for Barrington. Header. And that'll be another throw in. Ball bouncing around, sent back towards midfield. Pushed out to the far sidelines for Barrington, trying to get something going. Cross into the middle, all the way through, and it hit the side netting. Little deep there by Barrington. It was sent in. I think that was Tyke, who then just let it roll, and the goalie thought she was going to get a touch to it and intentionally didn't. They are back on that far sideline again. Barrington won state each of the last two seasons. It's across midfield here. Last time they fell in the postseason, they were at home. They lost the super sectional to Huntley in May of 2016. Third place finished the year before that.
That's the only time these seniors have not been in a state championship game. It's a one nothing super sectional loss to Huntley. This ball will roll through and go out of bounds. And a corner kick on the far side. They are ready again, looking to get the ball into the box. The Barrington fans making some noise. And a fake out there. Get a couple extra runners into the box here. Sending it all the way in, back post, and over for a goal kick. Naperville North gets it across midfield. And knocked away. Whistle. We want to move it backwards here. Since the class has expanded to 3A, which was 2009, Barrington's made at least the super sectionals every single year. They were. This one's sent away. Sent back towards midfield. The last time they didn't make a super section was 2008. The last year it was a two-class system. They lost their first postseason game that year to Lake Zurich. And it's cleared away. That was despite going 13, 6, and 2. They lost in the Supers in 9, 10, 11, and 12. Got third and 13. Lost in the Supers in 14 to Nutrier. Got third and 15, losing to Nutrier in the semis. Lost to Huntley in that 16 Super sectional. And then first place and first place the last two seasons. So they've been at least in the final eight. 11 years in a row. Ten minutes gone by, a little bit more than that here in the second half of action. Knocked away for Barrington. They move it back again towards the edge of the box. Saved in bounds, but no white shirts there to... Take advantage. Substitution. Calico back in.
Battle at midfield. North gets it across. They've not had the ball in the Barrington half much at all here in the second half, but they're back four, and their keeper, Amanda Johnson, they've held tight and have not given a goal. The last game of the girls' soccer season here tonight. With 26 minutes left in regulation. Today's game is available for all subscribers on our mobile website. Log on to nfhsnetwork.com on your smartphone or tablet. View live games or replays from anywhere. Shot deflected. Second effort rolls right to Johnson. Again, brought down right at midfield. Naperville Nora trying to work it forward here. And they do. But now taken away, double teamed. This is... About as deep as the Huskies have gone here in the second half. Looking for the throw in on that far sideline. Bounces it into the box and sent back out now. And it rolls right through for a goal kick. Substitutions for Barrington. Before this goal kick's put back in play. Armando scored the game winner yesterday. Is back in. Towards the sideline and goes out. Throw in for the Huskies, trying to get out of their defensive end. Again into the box. Oh, could not latch onto that ball. Nice ball sent to him, but they couldn't get onto it. The final steps there. Another opportunity down the right sideline for Barrington. Goal kick for Naperville North. Amanda Johnson's on it. Back to the box. This time she can pick it up and does so. Down the left side, out of bounds. Everville North throw in coming up. Murphy back in, Katie Murphy. For the Huskies. Not had much offense in the second half. They'll try to get some through Murphy. And a goal in the super sectionals for him to tie the game.
nearly to the halfway point of the second half. Into the box. Battle in front. Johnson wins it and wins the collision, too. It's a tough keeper right there for the Huskies. They bounce it back onto that far sidelines. Barrington on the edge of the box, cleared away. A little touch to the top of the 18, got around one defender, then ran into a double team, still battling, down, no call. Back into the box it goes, and that's going to go out for a goal kick. Tina Tyke was battling for it at the edge of the box. Tried to get a foul called either in or out of the box, but no foul was given. See who can break through first. Down the sidelines for Naperville North. A roll out of bounds. You look at Barrington in these state title games. With the penalty kicks to win them both against Nutria. One scoreless, one at 1-1. Getting it back across midfield, and Naperville North knocks it away. Right at midfield for this free kick, Maddie Rosen. She's shown when she's got the ability from here to put it into the box. And make it a goal-scoring opportunity. See what she does with it here. Right to the edge of the 18. Out to the right side. Saved inbounds, and it's still an opportunity for Barrington to the box. And that time they didn't get enough on it to get the pass completed to the right side. Batliner swings it in, headed on, and will go out for a goal kick. Foul called here. That's going to go against North. And it's out of bounds for a throw in. Kleiber. And Showmaker back in. Now 
at the sidelines. That'll roll out of bounds. Barrington sends it all the way down to the box. Johnson will pick it up there. You can purchase a DVD keepsake copy of today's event. Click on the blue. Get the DVD button directly under your event video player. Or click on the buy a DVD button on the top right-hand corner of the NFHS Network website. All the way back to Johnson again. Down the middle for Naperville North. We got it on the right side. Header for Barrington back to midfield. Naperville North on the middle of the field now. Trying to get it forward. And they go to the right sideline. Chipping it forward, bouncing over. Two players. Johnson comes out. There's nobody in goal. She got a piece of it and a piece of two players, too. Johnson came out to the edge of the 18, took out her own teammate and a Barrington player, did clear the ball to the sidelines, but if she didn't get that, there was nobody behind her. It would have been an easy chip in for Barrington, but Johnson... Came off for a line, won the ball, and no harm done. Now f under 14 minutes to go. Into the box. Sent across. Volleyed. Shot deflected. Just can't get the ball past about the 10-yard mark against this Naperville North team. Ashley Rocco keeps trying. She's number six on it here. Rocco, nice move. Slides it across. Went for the back heel. Did Tyke. Couldn't get to it. They're in the box with the shot deflected again. That's what happens on the shots by the Phillies. They all get deflected by that first defender. Don't even get through. To Johnson. When they do get through to Johnson, they're those big bouncers. She's been able to come out and catch. North gets a touch. And cleared back across midfield. Out of bounds. North gets a throw in. Deep in Barrington territory. An opportunity here for the Huskies on the counter. Barrington controls it again. Substitution. Ashley Pro back in. So they've really managed her minutes. She played the last 10 minutes or so of the first half, and she's in now with 11.30 to go and 
had one good opportunity in that first half with a header at the back post. She got a piece of and sent wide. Ranked as the top player in the state. A Chicago Land Soccer heading into the season and tore ACL in club play. Came back May 14th. Here comes Barrington again to the edge of the box, hitting the cross, and Johnson's there to catch that cross. She has been very good in the air all game long. Here's Amanda Johnson. Barrington battling at the sidelines and out of bounds for a throw in. Another Barrington throw in. To the goal line, sent out, corner kick for Barrington. See if they can capitalize on one of these. Matliner for this corner kick. Under 10 minutes ago in regulation. Corner kick coming in, punched over, and stays in bounds. For North, now at the top of the box, and they clear it out. Ball sent across the midfield stripe and Naperville North having trouble clearing it. They hit it into their own teammates there as Riggs couldn't get that ball away fast enough or far enough. Now to the sidelines again. Under eight minutes to go in regulation. Barrington with another throw in on that sideline. Substitution for Naperville North. Barrington down the left sideline. Prell. Crossing over everybody. That's going to head out for a goal kick. Goal kick coming. 
for Naperville North. Shy in midfield, and that'll be a foul against Barrington. Free kick for the Huskies. Headed by Barrington. Back towards midfield. Riggs is on it. Prell running onto it. Sent into the box. Five and a half to go. There's not a goal in the next five minutes. We'll have overtime to 10-minute halves. They'll switch directions halfway through that. You play the whole 20 no matter what. Nobody scores in that 20. Then it's... Penalty kicks. Now Barrington on the break. Couldn't slide it through, though. Showmaker was on the right side, running for this ball. Couldn't get there first. Naperville North's impressive defense. They've not worried about giving up possession they've made sure that they've stayed in front of the shots throw in knocked away north on a little bit of a break here down the sidelines that's out of bounds Throw in for Barrington again. Bounces around. Sent in by Tyke. High school sports fans never miss another game. Become a subscriber to the NFHS Network to watch live event coverage, game replays, and highlights from high school sporting events across the country. Millions of athletes, thousands of games. One destination. NFHSnetwork.com. High school happens here. Barrington. Couldn't get the cross. Naperville North has it again. But couldn't get it back to midfield. Barrington. McGreevy. Still McGreevy. Slides it into the box. Settled into the middle. Couldn't get a shot off here. And flag was up for a foul. Against Barrington, Prell on the run in. Barrington again trying to run through with Prell. Far sidelines. Phillies are on it. And out of bounds.
Throw it on the far sideline. For Naperville North with minute 15 left before we get to overtime. Barrington again, shot deflected. Been a lot of late half and late game goals this weekend throughout 2A and 3A. It happened again today in the 2A final. A goal with 146 left. Showmaker, but hit it right at Johnson. Made a nice move, got it under her left foot, but Johnson didn't have to move. Bend Academy tied Wakanda with a minute 46 to go. And won that game in overtime. Here's Batliner directing traffic with 35 seconds left. Gets the extra touch. They send it outside. Edge of the box. Bodies in the box. Cleared out. Will they have time to get the corner kick off here? 25 seconds remaining. Matliner will take the corner. Crowd on their feet. Ten seconds left. She puts it in play. Headed in on goal and wide to the right. That would have been a goal with six seconds left in the state championship game. Instead, it's overtime. Barrington and Naperville North headed to 20 extra minutes. We'll have that for you next on the NFHS Network. had a civilian retirement, a military retirement, and a 401k. It's just a lot of moving parts. They had their auto and their home insurance with me for about 10 years. Having somebody that can put that picture together for you took a huge weight off their shoulders. Kim and Bill are so excited about this next stage in their lives. Let's start with your home and auto insurance, and we'll help with the rest when you're ready. Get a quote at takesimplesteps.com. you understand your insurance, the more successful you can be. I love explaining how proper coverage can help my customers achieve their goals. Watching them apply what they've learned from my class to their lives, it's inspiring. I believe anyone can achieve their goals if they just take simple steps. Find a representative near you at takesimplesteps.com.
Nathan Believer Mack with you at Benedetti Worley Stadium on the campus of North Central College in Naperville. Third year in a row, the 3A title game has gone to overtime the last two. 20 minutes of overtime wasn't enough. We went to penalty kicks, both won by Barrington. We're trying to win it. Just regulation this time around. Barrington in the white. Naperville North in the orange and blue. Ten minutes. The team's going in this these directions. And then we'll have a quick two-minute break. They'll switch sides. We'll have another ten-minute overtime period. We'll play the full 20 no matter what. And if we're tied after that, it'll be... Penalty kicks for the third year in a row. North moving forward. Most of the possession today is gone. To Barrington, especially in that second half of play. Flicked on here and back towards the sideline. And out. Left sideline. For Barrington working their way down the sidelines. Back into the middle now, and Naperville North clears it away. Just shy of midfield. Header back to midfield for Barrington. Nice move. Prell. Tykes in the middle. Showmakers on the side. Prell. Shot is just wide. What a move by Prell. Sent that ball in and just missed the post. Wow. Goal kick didn't get too far, and now Naperville North does get it across midfield. All right, side and out of bounds for Naperville North. Throw in. Take down, no call, Showmaker. Batliner launching it forward and headed away. Left sideline and out of bounds, six minutes. Left here in the first. Half of the overtime period. Barrington setting it up again. Good. 
Naperville North throw in. And that one's going to roll out of bounds. Be a throw in back the other way. Barrington moving again. Send it through for Showmaker. Gets onto it in the box. Cuts it back across. And then it's cleared away. And that cut back. And that one's going to go out for a corner. They nearly scored on the last corner kick. Batliner. Sets it up here. Launching it in, punched out by Johnson. Batliner back in, far post. Nobody home. Touch forward, and that's going to roll out. Be another corner kick on the opposite side. Rosen will take this corner. Three twenty left in the first half of overtime. Ball sent in back post. The header not there, and a goal kick coming up. Ball sent all the way down, and Eisenbarth, who hasn't had to do too much tonight for the Phillies, picks it up. She launches it back the other direction and across midfield for Barrington on the attack. Taken away. Good defense by North. That's been that way throughout most of the night. Down the left side. Sent into the box, looking for Showmaker. Tyke trying to get onto it. And banged away. Bouncing into Johnson. One minute left. Prell. Charging through with her speed into the box. Left-footed shot is high. Hit the football crossbar. Goal kick coming up. (laughs) 
20 seconds left in the first half of overtime. Johnson's goal kick, short of midfield. We'll have a two-minute break here and then be back with the second 10 minutes of overtime. We don't get a goal in those 10 minutes. It's penalty kicks in the 3A finals for the third year in a row. Two-minute break and then 10 more minutes of soccer on the NFHS Network. Coaches teach your kids to dream. Coaches teach your kids to overcome. Coaches teach your kids good sportsmanship. Coaches teach your kids proper technique. But who teaches your coaches? There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. All right, this is Adam, take two, Mark. I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. The NFHS Learning Center is the leader in online education for the interscholastic community. At NFHSLearn.com, you can find over 60 courses for coaches, administrators, officials, parents, students, and performing arts programs, including over 25 free courses such as concussion in sports, heat illness prevention, sudden cardiac arrest, and protecting students from abuse. For more information, visit the NFHS Learning Center. Ready to go with the second overtime period here. And ready to go on the kickoff will be Barrington. Ball launched down the Middle of the field, miss hit. Tyke, Tyke gets around a defender. Shot is just wide. She can't believe it. She got around the defender, pulling it back nicely. And a goal kick here. They've done. A lot of good in the attacking zone today as Barrington would have not been able to finish. Back. Across midfield, back and forth. And out of bounds on the header. They've got it again. It was Barrington, now it's Naperville North back near midfield. North losing it, balls sent back across.
Header deflected to the middle of the field. Barrington sends it to the right side. North on the move. Poked away. Good defense. Barrington hasn't had to do that a lot tonight. They did it there. And that'll roll to the sidelines. Kept in bounds by Showmaker. Nice job. Deflected. And out of bounds for a Barrington throw in. So Pro back in. Pro really made things happen in that first half of overtime with her speed. Middle of the field, and Barrington gets it back to Tyke. Pro streaking down the left side. Tyke gets it to her in stride on the edge of the box. Pro settles, got around a defender, couldn't get around the second. Ball goes into the box, bouncing through and all the way out. That's going to go for a goal kick with six minutes left. Now a foul as Tyke gets taken down. See what the plan is for Barrington here. Saw Emma Weaver score from actually even a little bit further out than this distance earlier today in the third place game. Barrington on the free kick. They play it in, hits the wall, and sent back towards the sideline. Ready now. The throw in on that far side. Batliner will go over to take it. Another throw in. Baseline and out of bounds. Goal kick with 425 left. Murphy is ready to go. Right side for Naperville North and back towards the box. That's going to roll all the way through to Johnson. You're watching live coverage of the 2019 IHSA Girls Soccer Championships on the NFHS Network. NFHSnetwork.com slash IHSA is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of Illinois high school championship action for live games, full game replays, and highlights. It's all there at nfhsnetwork.com slash IHSA. Tyke. And colliding there with Shoemate, and that's going to go against Tyke and Barrington with 310 left. And now we're going to get a clock stoppage at 309 and a card given to Tyke. 
Well, I would guess had something to say there to Mike Moore, our head official, and she goes to the sidelines. 3.09 to go in <laughs> overtime. Kaleko back in. Knocked back. And a miss hit by Kaleko. She goes down. Couple bodies down. Play on. Prell. Prell speed's been a problem for Naperville North. It is here. She burns by one defender. Now looking at another. Into the box for Prell. Cuts it back. Taken down. No call. Play on. Barrington crowd wanted a penalty kick there. On that takeout. They voice their displeasure. Riley Riggs got a lot of the ball, and we're going to have a throw in here. Don't mind the play on at all with two and a half to go in overtime. Right back out of bounds. Two minutes left in overtime. Substitution for Barrington. Tyke back in for Caligo. Prell has it knocked away. Launch to the middle. Tyke taken down, and it'll be a free kick for Barrington, 30 yards from goal. Right now, 110 on the clock. Actually, about. 31 yards from goal. One minute left as Barrington lines up. We're in the second half of overtime. The free kick from Tyke sent in, deflected, and rolls out of bounds. And we're 40 seconds from penalty kicks. Flag was up for offside on that far sideline anyway. Twenty seconds left. Naperville North sends it in, and Eisenbart will pick it up and hold on to it for the third season in a row. The three A. State championship game is headed to penalty kicks. Last year, it went to Barrington on penalty kicks. They missed their first three, then made their next three. Different goalie, Samantha Schmitz was their starting goalie last year in the penalty kick shootout. Eisenbarth is a junior. We'll see what they line up for last year. Michaela Herr, who graduated, missed. Rosen missed. Tyke missed. At that point, they were trailing 1-0. Then Batliner made hers. Emma Weaver made it for New Trier. Moreno made and when Hoban missed, Ashley Prell put them on top three to two. And when Nell Martin missed, 
it was over. And the win there for 3-2. Two years ago, Her made it for Barrington, Nutria missed. Kayla Keck made it for Barrington, Nutria missed. And Sophia Spinell made it for Barrington. And when Nutria missed, it was all over. So they have won 3 nothing and 3-2. And their penalty kicks for the last two seasons. We go back to yesterday for Naperville North where they got the victory yesterday in penalty kicks. Shoemate made it. Murphy made it. Dulick made it. And Martin made it. Johnson had against Lions two saves. Both diving to her right. Johnson walking out. They're talking to the officials right now, going over the rules for the goalkeepers. Naperville North is going to go first. So same order as yesterday, at least to get it started, is it's Leah Shoemate. With the first penalty kick. So Shoemate's up first for Naperville North and scores. Huskies on top, one nothing. for Barrington. It's Tina Tyke. Tyke's penalty is saved. Big save for Johnson. Tyke missed last year as well. Katie Murphy is next. She was second yesterday as well and converted her goal against Lions in the shootout. Katie Murphy from the spot. Off the crossbar. One nothing. Maddie Rosen kicked first last year in the state championship game and missed. Chance to convert here and get this even. The left-footed defender off to the left. No good. Missed the target altogether. Still one nothing. For Naperville North. Their opportunity is good. 
Huskies on top, two zip. And Emily Dulick scored yesterday, scores today. Christine Batliner scored last year. Desperately needs to score here. And she does. Goalie got a piece of it. But Batliner scores, and it's 2-1. That keeps the Phillies alive. Another opportunity for Naperville North to go up by two. Hannah Martin is next. She scored yesterday with what ended up being the game-winning penalty kick. Martin against Eisenbarth, and that is saved! Barrington right back in it with that save. So a save there. Juliana Moore for Barrington here. Her shot is saved by Johnson. Anticipated to the right. There's one kicker left. Naperville North can pull off the upset and win the state championship right here. Naperville North going for a state championship on this kick. The shot is good! The Huskies win! They end Barrington's run of back-to-back state championships. Naperville North held tight all game long after Barrington dominated the possession and the shots. And the first place state championship trophy is only going to have to try, travel about a mile. Right down the block to Naperville North High School. And the Huskies are the 3A state champions in a shootout. Wow. Coach Galletz and his Huskies can celebrate. They last won state in 2013 when they went back to back and Naperville North is the 2019 state champions in the shootout three to one as they get that conversion to win it and Amanda Johnson was huge again making a couple of saves they have both the girls and the boys state soccer trophies right down the block in Naperville all you gotta do is Head down to Mill and Ogden. You can see both those trophies. Jim Conrad, the head coach of the boys' teams, an assistant for Galettes here on the girls' side, and they flip flop on the boys' side as well. And they get the state championship for both boys and girls in the same year in Barrington with back to back state championships. Looking for the third in a row for the three-peat. And I think they're a little shocked on the field right now, especially the way that that game went and was controlled by Barrington for the most part on offense. But Naperville North gets that state championship 
with a penalty kick win of three to one. Wow. Three years in a row to state finals. Barrington took two of them. They did not get the third as Naperville North gets the state championship. They won it in boys back the first week in November, and now the first week in June, they win the girls' state championship as well. So that'll do it for the game part. Stay tuned. We've got trophies to give away, individual trophies first, state trophies next, as the Naperville North Huskies win in a shootout over the Barrington Phillies to claim their first eight titles since 2013, their third under Coach Galetz. They also won it in 2012 and their fourth in school history. They're over to celebrate with their fans, the Huskies of the 2019 Class 3A State Championship. Individual and team trophy presentations coming up for Lee and Liz. On my broadcast, I'm Nathan Bleva. Thank you for joining us last weekend with 1A Columbia State Champions. This week with 2A, which went deep into double overtime for that one before it was won by Bennett Academy and now 3A for Naperville North in shootouts. Thanks for joining us for Girls Soccer and IHSA on the NFHS Network. I had a civilian retirement, a military retirement, and a 401k. It's just a lot of moving parts. They had their auto and their home insurance with me for about 10 years. Having somebody that can put that picture together for you took a huge weight off their shoulders. Kim and Bill are so excited about this next stage in their lives. Let's start with your home and auto insurance, and we'll help with the rest when you're ready. Get a quote at takesimplesteps.com. Number 
Major Sandy Kambelis. Number one, Leah Eisenberg. Number two, Christine Benliner. Number four, Nicole Rosetta. Number five, Ashley Armando. Number six, Ashley Rocco. Number seven, Caroline Pulito. Number eight, Christina Lucas. Number nine, Julian Moreno. Number ten, Ellie McNally. Number eleven, Laura Lipinski. Number twelve, Ashley Plow. Number fifteen, Riley Lindor. Number thirteen, Rebecca Schumacher. Number fifteen, Alexis Armando. Number sixteen, Jan Devon Fugana. Number seventeen, Mary Russo. Number eighteen, Kate McGuigui. Number nineteen, Mary Rosen. Number twenty, Alvin Ness. Number twenty-one, Dina Pick. And number 22, Hannah Walsh. <laughs> and please meet the Huskies at Naperville Road High School, who finished the 2019 season in first place with a final record of 15 wins, 5 losses, and 4 ties. First, Mr. Superintendent of Naperville North High School, Dan Bridges. The principal, Stephanie Posey. The head coach, Steve Burditz. The, the trainer, Armin Wilkie. The head coach, Steve Burditz. The assistant coach, Jim Conrad. The assistant coach, Nick Maxa. The second coach, Ryan Healy. The second coach, Jesus Aguilar. Number zero, Ellie Hip. Number one, Amanda Johnson. Number two, Liam Kamoy. Number three, Kendra McCauley. Number four, Julie Brun. Good music. Number seven, Pete Sylvester. Number nine, Michelle Schubert. Number eleven, Gabby Camis. Number twelve, Taylor Clever. Number thirteen, Jordan Leonard. Number fourteen, Mary Thompson. Number 16, Ellie Berger. Number 17, Hannah Martin. Number 18, Leah Schumacher. Number 19, Mary Fitzgerald. Number 20, Ellie Riggs. Number 21, Mary Schiff. Number 22, Kevin Castillo. Number 25, Grace Archibald. Number 26, Emily McGee. 
from the 28, Emily Bulick. Number 30, Jamie Murphy. Number 32, Avery Kutoba. With Coach Stenger and then captains from Brandon High School, please step forward to receive the second place trophy. Congratulations, girls, on a great season. Coach Goyetz and Captain from Naperville North High School, please step forward to receive the first place trophy. Congratulations, guys, on a great season.